Hello everyone, my name is Brian from brightech.co.uk and in this video we're going to be talking about how to remove or reset or bypass the BIOS and CMOS password that may have been set by the previous owner of the laptop or, or PC and you've purchased it and now you can't remove it or it may be a case you know you've done it yourself and forgotten about it and this will not apply for people that have stolen someone's laptop and they're trying to remove it because I wouldn't do that I wouldn't actually do that job for the person so it's for people that have actually forgot how to do it and it is pretty uh, straightforward process so let's, I'm going to show you how to do it so as you can see in front of you uh, you've got the actual motherboard here there's a picture of a motherboard and a picture of an actual uh, CMOS battery okay so you can see the little clip here and this is, is going to be on all the motherboards that you see look into the actual thing you can see it's near the RAM slot there and you just find the place where it's located and just push this little trigger switch back when the PC is off by the way or the laptop is off and then it will pop up and take it out now how long do you take it out for well how long is a bit of string you know some people let's say 30 seconds some people say a minute five minutes I've even seen people say 24 hours I mean it just depends really I would say you know on the safe note leave it out for a minute to five minutes you know, go and make a cup of tea so and come back and see how long it and see whether it's done it okay it pr pretty much well should have done now also you've got another method here where you can see the actual uh, there's a little clear you normally get a little button like this with a jumper on it it's got three pins and a little jumper on there to clear the CMOS you can actually take this jumper off so it'll have three pins and these two are covered so when you take this jumper off and you move it over to this other pin the clear pin will be on the other side and that will clear the CMOS and then you move it back so literally seconds and then move it back and that will clear the CMOS and that will remove the password as well this will put it back to default settings now that's the first and easiest method now you may be saying to me oh well I've got a laptop and I can't access my CMOS battery now some of them you can some of them have got a lot, tiny little panel on the back where you can actually just see the CMOS battery enough to pull it out I think the old IBM ones uh, used to have them but whether they're all doing them now I'm not too sure on some of them you know you sit bit I've seen some of them you can't get to and in that case you would have to obviously open up the laptop itself now that may be a bit tricky for some of you guys so if that's the case then take it to a repair shop and let them do it for you okay now I'm going to show you a couple of other methods to do it um, there is the next method is uh, BIOS passwords backdoors now to be honest um, I see a lot of this written up on the internet and whatnot, and these are BIOS passwords as you can see uh, for AMI and you've got a list of them here I mean if you think you're going to get in that easy you may well do you may be lucky and find one of these that actually work for you but I'll tell you what you're going to be sitting there for a day and a month typing these in until you find one that actually works for you because to be fair I've tried it for many a year and I'm yet to get in by using one of these so and these some of these on the actual internet are very old as you can see we've got phoenix passwords here and you can try those and nine times out of ten i guarantee they won't work so you may have to try and find one that does work and as i said these are just a small selection there's a ton of them out there and some of them are going back you know used in windows 95 and stuff like that and and whatnot windows 98 so bear that in mind some of them are very old these are obviously for the Dell. You could also try to ring your man, uh, your manufacturer up and ask them whether there is a BIOS password override so I could just override it. But they're not going to give that to you because they want you to take it in and charge you for it. Okay, so you can give them a stab if you want and good luck with it. The next, the next solution really is debugging. Now debugging again there's a ton of them uh, that I've seen people doing but these are the ones that you need to be looking at AMI but to be honest as I said before you're getting into the more destructive mode now so I would definitely try to do the battery route if you can because it's less less in, uh, instructive or, uh, less destructive on the actual machine itself less can go wrong with just removing a battery so you've got AMI this is the code you need to do and these are O's not zeros and then you've got the Phoenix BIOS, you need to do that. 
A lot of people are doing the same one. It's not the same one for all of them because it won't work. You need to use different ones for different viruses. Then you've got the generic one, okay? And then this one I found on the internet. Um, I'm not sure, I've never used this one before, so you can give it a go if you want. Um, I don't like putting debug codes in unless I know exactly where they've come from and whether they're from a reputable person because they could be giving you code that's going to wipe your machine of some sorts or damage your machine in some sort of way. So just be careful because this is raw code you're putting in and it will do some destructive damage. And basically this one is typing this in and then push enter and so on and so on and so on. But I mean these ones up here I would use first, you know, if I was going to use these, okay? I would always go to battery root, you know, 99.9% .9 at a time. I'd never really do this on a customer's PC, really, to be honest. But if you're in a pickle and you can't get out, and you don't want to take it to a repair shop, and you're going down this route, then you do it on your own, off your own back. The next thing you can do, which is the last sort of thing, really, and it's software. And you've got the software called uh, CMOS Password. Now these are destructive and you've got to be really really careful when you're using these. I've seen people saying yeah use this, do that, do this. It will, there's a chance of it, it could destroy your BIOS. So be careful and you'll start getting all sorts happening to it, it just kill it. This program here kills CMOS, I've seen that um, damage machines before. I've seen people use it and gone around there and they're, their actual machines damaged for using something like this. There is no guarantee with them anyway, so that they're going to work. I have used this one before on a couple of old machines that I've got, and it's been successful, and it's been okay. So saying that, I have used them myself on my own machines, not on customers' machines. But as I said, I'd always use the battery route. But this one I've used, and I'll show you that quickly. Basically, what you need to do is get download the program, open up command prompt, Okay, and the debug's the same, you'd have to type debug in like this if you was using debug, by the way, I forgot to show you that. So you just type debug in first and then type the debug code. But to do the actual, um, to, to load that um, program up, you put it on the desktop, so for instance here, this is our program. Okay, so I'm going to change directory to desktop, so cd desktop. Okay, and that will put us into the desktop directory and then I need to type the name of the program that, that, that we're going to be using .exe and then push enter and up comes the program and it's the same for all the other ones as well this is the way you'll be doing it come down to crackers and then move over to the actual one that you want say a walled click on enter and it will give you the options always go with the first option first uh, option one in order to crack the supervisor system password okay but as I said before, always at your own risk. Personally, if you can get away with using the actual uh, battery route, then do so. Okay, but it's very difficult for people who've got laptops if they can't get to them. Anyway, I hope this has helped you out. Uh, my name is Brian from brightech.co.uk. Please leave your comments. If you've got any questions, please send me an email or leave comments and I'll try and answer them as best I can. Please subscribe to my channel. Bye for now.